I guess secretly I'm doing the work of God. That is a popular comment that I also get from many people who still believe in the Bible is that whether or not I realize it or not, I am doing the will of God. I am doing the work of their God in the way that they have envisioned God to be. This person particularly put it in an Africanized way of saying that, you know, throughout all the myth, throughout all the corruptions of the church and all these sorts of things, that I am bringing people to an understanding of going and digging deeper into history and culture so that they can come to a true understanding of this Bible, of this God, so that secretly I am doing the work of God. Now, they did have some nice, compassionate things to say after this particular post when I disagree with them. Um, but yet and still, to say that I am doing the work of your God is to be placing my agency under the authority of your God to which you nor anyone else can place my agency under anyone's God, anyone's versions of God. Because it would have to be willing, I would have to have my own willingness to do so. If you claim that your God is a God of love and free will, then he would not take away my free will and force me on a pathway and force my decisions to be his will. Because I am not one to say, may his will be done. It is my will that I choose to follow, my will that I choose to study, to walk away from these biblical teachings. And even though when my teachings and my morality intersect with biblical teachings, that is not to say that I am in the will of your God. It's just that there will be and there are intersections between every culture, between every religion, between every philosophy, between every thought process of life. There will be interconnections. So your God did not inspire me into my decision. It was actually the reading and studying and developing of content about your God that caused me to walk away. Now, there are those who will recognize that your God does take away people's free will. He took away Pharaoh's free will. Remember when he said he hardened Pharaoh's heart? Because Pharaoh was of the mindset that he would have let the people go according to the story. He had to harden his heart a couple of times. There are other portions of the Bible where other people's heart was hardened. And he reminded them constantly how he hardened Pharaoh's heart. So your God has taken away certain people's free will. But on the whole, you teach that your God doesn't take free will. So therefore, my decisions are my own. Now, the other type of comments that I get concerning I am doing the work of your God is people will begin to quote the great falling away and the teachings of Antichrist and that there will be those who teach in the latter days against them and they will be against Jesus and they will be blasphemers and so on and so so forth. It's a nifty thing to have in the Bible. It makes sense. If I'm trying to protect my religion, then I would, of course, speak about those people who, will, who are going to come against me, who are going, I will prophesize about those people who will speak against me. This is in the same way that David Koresh from Waco, Texas, if you don't remember the Branch Davidians, who taught his people that the government will come against them, that the government will try to kill them, that the government will fire their weapons and surround them and siege them. And those things happen according to how David Koresh predicted them, prophesied them. But did they happen out of the miracle of his prophecy? Or did it happen because David Koresh and the Branch Davidians were breaking the law and that's why the ATF came and laid siege on the building and they were the ones who actually set the building on fire. So it was a self-fulfilling prophecy because he created the situation. He was the causation to bring about that effect. So it's a brilliant thing to write into your books that there will be those who will be naysayers. It keeps people in line and it allows them an out to be able to continue to believe in their Bible without critically thinking so that they will be able to blame anything different from their core teachings on someone being filled with an evil spirit. But I am in no way inspired by your God, making decisions by your God, or fulfilling any of your God's prophecies. Every religion has those same prophecies. So I'm fulfilling the Islamic prophecies. I'm fulfilling, hell, actually, not to say that, just makes me realize, do you realize that every Christian is fulfilling 
the Islamic prophecies of the infidels, you are fulfilling those prophecies. And at the same time, since Abraham had Isaac and Ishmael, that every Muslim is fulfilling Jewish prophecies of being against each other. So you're fulfilling Muslim prophecies and Muslims are fulfilling Christian prophecies. Ain't that something? Y'all have a great day. And remember always, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.